I wanted to uh, pursue my masters, and that's when in 2014 I decided to pursue masters in cybersecurity. But if I if I broadly categorize uh, cybersecurity, I can say that there's attack side and defense side. So you you need to understand where you want to go. So both are uh, like both are really good. Hello everyone, this is Asim. And today I have with me a special person. You would have seen my Android hacking series, and he's the creator of that insecure app that you were seeing, insecure shop app. A lot of people have been asking me to make videos on Android, and honestly, I was a bit stuck in a lot of places. I was trying to learn a few things, and I thought it would be best to have the creator himself and show us some of the tricks that he has learned and. in the process how he made the application what was the intent of it and just to get to know uh, like get to know him better as well so here we have gorang gorang uh, would you like to introduce yourself hey asim uh, yeah sure uh, so my name is gorang patnagar and um, currently working in vmware and i have about uh, like 6 years of professional experience uh, before that i completed my masters in cyber security um and yeah so i have uh, done a lot of research uh, during my uh, span um uh, and one of the uh, uh thing is about the android application um so i've been into this android application research since around 2016 or 2017 since then i've been researching into this a lot uh and in 2019 i decided to Create in secure shop application and uh, decided to present it at Sojourner conference. Oh, that that was really I even I saw that video as well and that that is one of the applications I've seen a lot of other vulnerable applications but the one that you have is quite updated I've seen and I think you also keep it like keep on updating the application as well. So that was quite nice and like he is being modest he has been doing this security for a lot of lot of years now and a lot of experience. It, I also add the link for the source zero con uh, the link of the video as well and his Twitter profile you can ask any questions you want. So yeah, Gorang. So the, this is a, like the first question is how did you get started into cyber security? Do you have any like family background, education background, or like how how was it? How was it for you? Like yeah, so I I have no bag. I had no background in cyber security. I have now a lot of, but. Uh, the time uh, when I, it was about like when i was doing my engineering i, I uh, completed my engineering in electrical and it was third year or fourth year i realized that this is something not my area of subject or which i'm interested in and somehow i got introduced to uh, some um, uh, cyber security workshops and i i used to do a lot of uh, like script kiddie stuff With, with a few of the computer science uh, students, so that got me uh, uh, very much interested. And apart from that, I wanted to uh, pursue my masters, and that's when, in 2014, I decided to pursue masters in cyber security. So, uh, moving from electrical to cyber security was indeed a challenging thing because uh, you are not from um, uh, IT background. Most of the colleges put this restriction that uh, since if you want to do computer science uh, in ma- uh, you have to do com- uh, masters in computer science you, you must have a background in it um, so but somehow i i was very fortunate uh, that i got admission in uh, in a national university and uh, in 2014 i i joined that um, course and in 2016 i completed my masters in cyber security So during this time, uh, I learned a lot of things, and uh, that's when uh, my career just started booming. And it was the time when, the, when uh, you know, bug bounty was in boom. Ah, uh, yeah. So whatever, like 2014, it it, it just started. You know, 2014, 2015. So fortunately, we were learning all about the application security topics, uh, cross site scripting, uh, SQL injections. So. I used to practice that a lot, and I used to perform that. Uh, so whatever I learned, I used to uh, perform that on a live website. And um, so there, there were not a lot of vulnerable applications that time in 2014, 2015. So, yeah, so that that was one of the way, uh, the practical thing uh, that has uh, uh, improved my skills. 
Oh, definitely. Yeah, you mentioned that you also started in 14, 15, and you that time there was not a lot of resources. Now you see there are hundreds of resources, and now the yeah. uh, the now the issue is that people are confused with which one to follow. Now earlier it was there were no resources, or whatever you got, you were just hooked up. Yeah, we have to practice this. I remember we used to do Pico CTF hack this site and a lot of these websites, and there was this Vchal dot net or something. It's still there. It's a CTF network where if you create an account and if you perform CTF changes on any of these websites, let's say over the wire, Pico CTF and all those, you get some rating and you get a top like a leaderboard on this Vchal based on ratings from all these websites. So a lot of people used to boast their ratings on Vchal like we are on this rank, we are this handle and all that. So that that's I think that's still prevalent if you are in CTF circles, you would still find that. But yeah. So I see that you have started from like very basics and application security, and then you made your niche into Android security and stuff. I assume you had also done some web application security, maybe. So if anyone yeah. who is and you are not from a like a computer science background, you have studied electrical and then moved to M Tech and did the cyber security thing. Even like a friend of mine, he recently moved to US and he didn't have a like what is a computer science background. He was from IIT, I think, Kharagpur. Yeah. But he was also finding it very difficult. Even though he had a very good grade score, he was finding it difficult to get into a top, like let's say top 30, 40 colleges in the US for uh, like MS in computer science. That's a bit difficult, I feel. But yeah, yeah. If we had to give some suggestions of people who who are into cyber security, or let's say who are very new into like maybe a college student, a third year, a second year, even a first year college student. What would you suggest them? How should they plan their career? How should they start their career into cyber security? So, uh, what I uh, tell a lot of uh, students who are who are uh, like in the initial stages of cyber security, uh, cyber security is is quite big. So it's not only about bug bounties. I know bug bounties is very lucrative lucrative thing. So, uh, so you need to understand your area of interest. Like uh, there is. Attack side. If I if I broadly categorize uh, cybersecurity, I can say that there's attack side and defense side. So you you need to understand where you want to go. So both are uh, like both are really good. So both have equal scope, and it it, it is completely up to you. So attack side uh, may involve like uh, pen testing or or red teaming exercises, um, and whereas. um defense side may include uh, things like malware analysis or uh soc thing siem so all these things so you need to understand about your area of interest and accordingly you just have to work on it so if i if i remember in 2014 when i joined uh my area of interest was uh, more into uh hacking web applications and mobile applications although that time there was not a lot of resources so i was looking into like how i can master these master these skills sql injection process scripting csr so we used to learn a lot of theoretical uh, things in colleges but we were not able to practice these stuff uh fortunately that time i found um, a really good resource in 2014 it was colisium labs i'm not i'm not sure if you have heard uh it is it was by elen security No, Elon Musk. So, yeah. So these, so these were the practical lamps, uh, web application practical lamps that uh, that were very cheap, and it actually provided me with a lot of uh, practical skills. Uh, although it is uh, like deprecated, um, so a lot of changes have been made. Uh, so they uh, Elon Musk then uh, created a course uh, EJPD. Oh yeah, yeah. It started in late 2014 or 2015, and I just enrolled into that. So I was so impressed by uh, Colisium Labs that I I just wanted to like let's start with this beginner certification. So I did EJPT in 2015 uh, when it arrived, oh. and it gave me a solid uh, practical skills. It cleared a lot of basic stuff. uh which i was not able to get into the colleges um, uh, from from what i learned in the in the college so uh, i would say uh if you want to um, excel in a field first thing is you need to decide your area of interest secondly you have to work on your practical skills so there are a lot of resources now so i think these two things are what it is required 
Yeah. Oh, just a disclaimer: neither I nor Gorang is a sponsor of EJPT or any of these uh, certifications. But yeah, just he got to he is telling from that experience. Yeah, I remember even like I've suggested a lot of people who are into or want to get into web application security. I usually suggest them the Portswigger Labs and stuff because those are quite good. Yeah, and even try hack me, like, hack the box and stuff. Yeah, the, that's pretty much. Yeah, I also assume that you need to get some theoretical knowledge, find your area of niche. I yeah. was talking to Mandana Ma'am in Nalcon. Uh, I had an interview recently uploaded on my channel. Even she had this very basic thing that because there's a lot of field in cyber security, and a lot of people they question me that, "Hey, I see, I want to get into cyber security. Where should I start?" So I tell them, "They see, they are, these are very broad sections of cyber security. First, you go, and then come back in a month and tell me as to what do you feel, which one you are interested in, and then I can guide you. Okay, this is a particular field that you might, or these are the resources that are required for this particular field. Yeah, that's that's quite aptly put. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. So, so yeah, at, at this time, there's a lot of uh, good resources like Bootswigger Labs and all this. Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and all." So today, there's there's a lot of uh, good resources where people can learn with that. Definitely, definitely. Yep. So uh, apart from cyber security, what what other interest I see in your background as a guitar? But what other interest do you pursue apart from cyber security? Uh, I I love um, uh, playing uh, music. Like uh, I have electric guitar, acoustic guitar. um these are my side hobbies i love playing um, games uh, like ps4 with my friends or go for outdoor sports uh, play cricket and all so these are uh, my hobbies outside of work oh that's great cool. even i also have a ps4 pro and i used to play a lot of games mostly storyline games like uncharted and stuff but yeah god of war and things yeah, i really like that <laughs> cool so uh not this was the first part of the interview in the for the series we would be uh, taking each of these challenges and gorang will be showing us how we would be solving that challenges and what are some of the real world application where those could be tested and tried out